Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Routine. So, a lot of our viewers are panicking and asking us to talk about the DAG file, the epoch increase, and the hash rate drop. Uh, even link us videos of other YouTubers uh, who made um, outrageous claim that if you're using an RX 400 or 500 card to mine, that the end of day is coming because your hash rate is going to, you know, take a dump and take a, a jump off the cliff or something. Well, that is just not the case. Uh, now, before we explain to you in more detail, let us walk you through some of the facts about Ethereum mining. So, Ethereum mining. Mining is currently on proof of work model. Um, and that has been since uh, Homestead release, uh, since the beginning. So proof of work means your miner does the work, uh, it proves that it works, and then you get a share uh, and a token uh, as compensation. Uh, proof of stake model expected to happen in 2017. We are in 2017, so it's coming. Uh, it's expected to happen by the end of 2017, which means by that time, you will no longer be able to mine Ethereum. Okay. Number three, more miners usually means faster network hash rate. As you can see, uh, if you haven't noticed, the optic in... Um, people jumping in and people who are growing their mining operation. Well, the more people are mining, the faster the network hash rate. And as the network utilization grow, uh, we require more hash rate to handle all the increased transactions and increased processing requests, contracts, smart contracts that's going back and forth. The more people utilize the network, the more hash rate we need. So it's good that miners, uh, we're getting more miners to join and, and more mining rigs adding to the army and uh, it's all good. But Faster network hash rate also equals to higher mining difficulty. Mining difficulty has been skyrocketing, if you haven't noticed already by now. Uh, your return, your share um, has been drastically cut. Um, but that has nothing to do with the DAG file increase or the epoch happening. So, fact about epoch. Epoch happens once every 30,000 blocks. So, and this has been happening since the beginning. It's, um, and it's not like it's on a uh, specific time uh, that it happens. It's just every 30,000 blocks of Ethereum discover Epoch will happen. We are currently on Epoch number 130 as of June 23rd of 2017. Um, a new block is discovered every 15 to 18 seconds on average. Um, the last 5,000 blocks average is about 17.4 seconds per block. Um, that gives us some idea on calculating um, the DAC file and the epoch, the when is it going to change. And with each new epoch changes the DAC file. So the DAG file increases in size and sometimes in structure as well. It's one of the um, built-in mechanisms for uh, preventing certain negative events from happening is the changing of the DAG file. So facts about DAG file. DAG stands for Directed Cyclic Graph. Um, DAG size grows at a rate of about 0 0.73 times per year. What does that mean? Well, the current DAG file size is about 2.115 gigabyte. And uh, we'll link you to the site to actually map out uh, every APOC DAG file size. So, you know, we're on 130 right now. Next one will be in uh, 131, which will happen in less than two days. Um, it's actually happening about one day and night hours okay and then uh, next fact the 3 gigabyte DAC file will be reached after epoch number 
two forty eight. Well, guess what? That's not going to happen for a while, because now the 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 videos and the the posts that people are making about the you know the DAC file, the the big numbers, the one forty, the one fifty, the one sixty, the one seventy. Well, guess what? By the end of the year, you're not even going to see one eighty. You're going to be some somewhere in the one sixties um, epoch, um, and that's when you know, point of stake is supposed to happen. So let's not worry about beyond that. Um, and so if you're mining with a three gigabyte uh, NVIDIA 1060 card, uh, you have nothing to worry about as far as mining Ethereum, because by the time you can no longer mine Ethereum, it will be because of point of stake, uh, uh, proof of stake, not because of the DAC file size increase um, to a point that is beyond your three gigabyte RAM of your video card. Um, point, of, like I say, point of uh, proof of stake will happen prior to that, and that the na the next milestone is called Serenity milestone. Right now we're in the Homestead milestone, so the next Serenity milestone where POSs will ha will take place will be way before. Okay, now let's jump into some of the details. Um, um, one of the, in particular, one of the video that's circulating, it's getting a lot of views, um, uses Claymore um, to, uh, Claymore's benchmark um, function to, uh, you can set the epoch number. Um, so uh, this YouTuber set epoch number, you know, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180 to show you what the decrease in uh, the hash rate of the cards that he was uh, using to demonstrate. Well, we tested with an uh, RX 480. This is an MSI RX 480 gaming 8 gigabyte edition uh, with original unmodded BIOS. And we left the um, core clock and the memory clock um, just default. So 1279 megahertz core clock, 2000 megahertz memory clock. Now you see on the right hand upper side, this is all the, so we actually use this Claymore Dual Miner 9.5 benchmark mode uh, to, to show you the epoch number 50, 60, 70, all the way up to 180. And you see that the hash rate, you know, from 50, which, you know, um, the way, the reason why we did e start with epoch number 50 is because um, that is about 360 days ago or almost a year ago, which is the day that um, Radeon RX 480 was launched. So it was launched uh, almost exactly a year ago from today, and the epoch number was in the 50 range. So, um, as you can see, the, the benchmark shows that it's at 24.65 mega hashes per second. This is average. So, all the way up to today, the underlined 130, epoch number 130 that we're in right now, it did see a slight decrease. It's at 24.45 mega hashes per second. That is a change of 0.18 mega hashes per second less than 120 or 0.2 mega hashes less than 110 um, and this is our baseline so this is the 100 percent if we go to 140 epoch 140 the benchmark shows it's going to be at 23.46, 150 at 21.27. You can read the numbers yourself. By the time is 180, which none of us are going to see 180. Now, remember, I mentioned before, it's going to be between 160 and 170 that the um, POS is going to happen. Because right now with the 17.4 seconds per block time, and epoch happens every 30,000 blocks, literally means that it would take, you know, 52 to 60 days uh, for Epoch to go from 130 to 140, uh, to go up by 10, okay? So it, every Epoch 
will take about 5.2 to 6 days right now. And so by the end of the year, which is 191 days from now, we're going to be in the 160s epoch number. So that means we will be in the 70 percentile range from today. So assuming that you're still mining Ethereum with your RX 480, you are expected to see a, a 20 something percent decrease in hash rate from what you have today. Now remember, this is a gradual decrease. So might seem like a lot, but you know, it's actually better than like, say your light bulb um, you know, did you know that your light bulb's brightness is decreasing at a much faster rate than, um, say, your, uh, e uh, your hash rate for your RX 480, your 400s? Um, so when people say that, uh, looking at the, the graph that it's taking a dive, well, if you show the graph range from 15 mega hashes per second to 27 mega hashes per second like we did here you see that uh, yeah flat 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 and then boom it takes a dive but that's you know how do you how how you show your graph can t can tell a different story now if you go look at the graph next to it the bar graph um, where we show from 30 from 0 to 30 you see that the decline is actually very gradual so it's not a, a dive. I would not call that a dive or a crash. Um, it's not the, the doomsday scenario, dump your RX 400s or 500s right now because they are not worth mining with anymore. Um, another thing to remember is that um, uh, the mining software like Claymore, um, MinerGate, uh, many other out there, that uh, mines uh, that allow you to mine Ethereum um, does get better and have new features that combat this um, a decrease in hash rate for video cards. Um, and your mining pool actually does different things too to mitigate the um, decrease in hash rate because they don't want their pool's hash rate to, to be impacted as, um, you know, they want the least amount of impact possible because that it, it impacts their profit, their profit margin as well. And if their pool performance is going down, then they're going to lose miners. Their people are going to jump ship to other pools. So even pools uh, take measurements to um, mitigate the hash rate decrease. So always make sure you update your mining software, okay? Because they always come out with new features that will improve if not, uh, at least save your hash rate, okay? Now, you say, okay, this is an RX 488 gigabyte version. What about like a lesser card with lesser RAM? RAM. Well, we tested the Radeon RX 560. This is the gigabyte RX 560 gaming overclock 4G model. And this is a modded one. We went ahead and modded this um, by copying the 1625 timing all the way up. And, um, setting that we left the core clock the same but we did overclock the ram to 2000 from 1750 and you can see now this is a much lesser car than an rx 480 even though it's a newer car it's a 560. you see that uh, at 130 which is what we're in right now the hash rate is 13.82 well by the time you're at 160 it's only decreased to 12.22 and the percentage is only 88%, it's still 88% of 130s hash rate. So that is not a huge decrease. It was a less than a 12% decrease. Um, by 170, it's still only an, you know, a 17 to 18% decrease from today. So again, you know, if you show a line graph like this and you only show a, a margin between 10 and 15, it looks like it's taking a dive, your hash rate. But uh, if you look at the bar graph from zero to 16, well, guess what? It's a very gradual and smooth decrease. It's not that impactful. So is it still worth it to mine 
your uh, with your RX 400s and 500s or should you take the words of these other videos that um, are trying to invoke this doomsday scenario that you should you should probably dump your 400s and 500s um, before it's too late or you, you lose out. Um, you know, there is a shortage of 400s and 500 cards on the market right now. Maybe they're hoping that, you know, a lot of people see this video and then, or read these posts and they're going to, you know, dump their 400s and 500s on eBay or different places so they can snag them. Um, because 400s and 500s are still the to me, really great cards. They're easy to work with, and they'll get you really good hash rates um, at a very fair price if you can find them. Now, uh, don't spend like you know six hundred, seven hundred dollars. That you know the asking price of some of these cards is just insane. But different sites, different uh, resellers are actually still releasing inventories as they come in. Um, at under three hundred dollars per card for like an RX five eighty or four eighty, so just wait for it. Put yourself on uh, auto notify lists so you know when in the moment inventories arrive, um, or make friends with your local retailer um, so they'll give you a call or hold inventory for you. Um, you might have to take them out to dinner, but um, so what? So anyway, um, I hope this has put uh, some of your uh, worries to ease. Uh, if you can sleep better at night, knowing that um, the, the epoch increase is not going to have a, uh, as big of an impact to your mining rig as some people might make it out to be or make, want you to believe. Um, take care of your mining rig. Um, always update when possible, um, there's always maintenance involved. We don't just, for our mining rig, we don't just let it run and forget about it. You know, we constantly monitor them. We put them on auto notify. We use team viewer and we get notifications when something's wrong. And, and then we get on it right away um, because every second counts. So, um, hey, if you like this video, I hope, hopefully you did. Um, please click that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please um, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, we are planning on many major giveaways this summer. Um, so you want to stay tuned and be a subscriber to, so you won't miss out on any of these giveaways. Um, and you can always find us on Facebook. Um, we have launched our season three, season three premiere of our weekly uh, podcast um, live on Facebook um, happened last night. Uh, so it's every Thursday night at um, 9 p.m. Mountain Time. That's U.S. Mountain Time, 9 p.m. Um, so if you subscribe to our, um, join our Facebook page as well, you get notified as well when we are about to go live. And it's a one hour show and we talk about tons of different things, including uh, cryptocurrency. So hope you enjoy the show 